OK, the left, bias and intolerance, they go together, don't they? Look at this tweet from Green Left columnist Rachel Withers asking Twitter types to find awful things said by Senator Jacinta Nabajiba Price to be included in a column. No pretense here, just using the vicious hive mind of Twitter to get dirt on a Conservative. But have a look at how pathetic it all turned out. The worst Withers came up with was that Napa Jimpa Price is a Sky News favourite, takes strong law and order stances. How horrible. And apparently the word Celtic disappeared from one of her bios. And of course she's worked with the Institute of Public Affairs and the Centre for Independent Studies. Why are the left so threatened by an intelligent, conservative, indigenous woman? Why are they so hateful? On the same theme, a big reaction to my piece last night on the ABC ignoring the Lydia Thorpe strip club story, the leftist senator's racist, foul, abusive rant. As you know, I searched the ABC website, checked it again today. No reporting of the episode, just stories from last month when Thorpe claimed to be mistreated by police. Spoiler alert, she wasn't. This omission of Thorpe's disgraceful behaviour is blatant, politically biased censorship. We know if this was a politician of the right, the video would have been on constant loop at the ABC. And I've got the proof. A couple of weeks ago, One Nation's Mark Latham's, he tweeted a vile homophobic abuse that was slammed here on this station and, as it turns out, also slammed on the ABC. An ABC website search proves the point. The whole first page fills with 10 stories about that tweet and the outrage, rightfully so. But there's the bias, clear as day. More proof that it's not your ABC or our ABC, it's their ABC.